Oh my goodness, you guys, it has been way too long since I posted a video. I don't know what's going on with me. I've just been busy. Okay, I've been super busy. I've been a little short staffed. And so I just haven't spent a whole lot of time making videos. But I thought I had a moment to myself in the shop. I could give you guys kind of a little bit of a rundown of where my head's at, what I've been working on. And also, I got some big news today. I finally bit the bullet. I sat on my proposals for the Duplo and for the Arrow Cut, and I ultimately decided to go with the Arrow Cut X, um, mostly because of where they are located. They're in Charleston. I know them. Um, they manufacture our folding machine for us, and so. I get support from them. They're very close by and I just decided to go that way. We've been completely trained on the, well, I don't know if I want to say completely trained on the machine. I'll throw in a little bit of footage of some of my training and I might add some of the training to YouTube in the future. But after uh, they left, I was left by myself to work on a little project. Uh, for event tickets, eight and a half by five and a half event tickets that, here, I'll show you. We are working on these, these event tickets. These are eight and a half by five and a half with a perforation. And so you can see there is a, a white bar at the top. This was a client supply design file, didn't have a bleed, but man, this thing just popped right out. Got a little footage of that. See this? Oh yeah, I probably could have. Yeah, that would have worked. Oh, I cut them all. In order to make room for this bad boy, we ended up moving our vinyl rack for our cut vinyl up here, right next to the cutter, which actually makes a lot more sense for it to be right next to the cutter. Um, so I, that means I moved my laminator up here in the corner a little bit. So that is looking a little bit different. Lamination station, cut vinyl, cutter, And we got the slitter cutter creaser right there. I think what I'm gonna end up doing is turning this this way and also turning this shelf this way as well. But you can see now I kind of have a really good little work set up here just for our paper printing all along this corner back in here. So a little bit different around here. Another new item here at the shop, it might be even more exciting than the slitter cutter creaser. I have an espresso machine. Do you guys remember a video I did like a year ago where I had to replace the heating element inside of this workhorse dryer? Well, it went out again. I mean, it would not get above like 70 degrees in temperature. And so I had to buy another heating element for this thing. And uh, I had to take it out because I couldn't remember where I ordered it from. And I didn't have that information in the video, but this is made by Tempco, T-E-M-P-C-O. And the model number is CSF00135. It's an 1100 watt, 120 volt. So in the future, this is a reference for myself more than anything. Obviously the week after Christmas is kind of slow. Uh, Chelsea's not here this week. It's just me and Sally. So what I've been working on are company end of year finances, uh, getting everything updated in QuickBooks. Obviously the biggest change for this year is we have purchased a lot of equipment. So um, we've entered in the fixed assets. I've entered in the loan information, the payments and kind of broken everything down. Um, also Shopbox, you will hear a lot of complaints online about people complaining about how 
Uh, the integration with Shopbox and QuickBooks leaves a lot to be desired. And honestly, I don't know if you have integrated anything with QuickBooks, but nothing integrates with QuickBooks well. And so the problem that you run into whenever you, you bring in invoices from Shopbox and vice versa, you really have to have all of the accounts married and set up between the two. And you gotta map them out. Well, of course you do that initially, but over the course of time, you add new accounts inside a Shopbox and then it just becomes a whole mess. And so uh, the whole strategy behind all that kind of sucks. It just sucks. And so, um, but I've come up with something, I've come up with a solution that I'm very happy with that's actually making my QuickBooks life way easier. Um, I'm working through it right now, but I'm gonna do a whole video here soon just on that. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, I promise I have not fallen off the face of the earth. I do appreciate you tuning in as always. Um, uh, I got a slew of videos that I've been shooting, editing, just haven't put everything together and got it out there. So stay tuned. Thanks for bearing with me. I'll see you guys very soon. Take care.